Behold the Lamb of God. Jesus Christ is that perfect Lamb. Hallelujah. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. If we're going to look upon him today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining uh, this video. I, I thank the Lord for you. And I thank you for your prayers and your support. And I know that those uh, you're viewing. And if you have a comment while this is going on today. Or you have a, a word uh, from the Lord for, for the group. Or for someone in particular. Uh, while this uh, video is going on. Uh, this is your session, and so please uh, do what the Lord is telling you to do and be obedient uh, to that. Thank you again for, for joining. Praise the name of Jesus. Let's pray together uh, this morning. Lord, we thank you for this day. This is a precious day that you've made for us, and we're going to be glad. And we're going to rejoice in it. And Lord, I thank you for your words. Uh, that are full of power. I thank you, Lord, that your word is sharper than a two-edged sword. And, Lord, it's going to divide the soul from the spirit today. And I thank you, Lord, for uh, words of that minister grace uh, to the hearer. I thank you, Lord, for open hearts today. Uh, I thank you, Lord, for ears that hear uh, what the spirit would say unto them today. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I come against every hindrance. Uh, from this video going forth and your word going forth uh, this day in the name of Jesus and whatsoever I bind on earth is bound in heaven in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! It is a great day. It is a great day to, to just hear the word of God and, and rejoice and fellowship uh, with other believers. You know, that's what we're doing. Uh, with this video. We're coming together uh, in Jesus' name, and we're coming together uh, to praise the Lamb, because the Lamb of God is worthy uh, to be praised. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. And we've come uh, to feast with Him today. We've come to commune uh, with Him today uh, in the name of Jesus. And uh, I'm going to start in the, in the book of John, chapter 1, uh, verse 29. John the Baptist was uh, a cousin of Jesus. And in verse 29, but you know, he did not know him after the flesh, but he knew him after the spirit. Uh, the next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him. And this is what he says. Behold the Lamb of God, which takes away the sin of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, in the Old Testament, if we went back into the Old uh, Covenant, in the Old Testament, uh, in Leviticus and Numbers, uh, they had to bring sacrifices unto the Lord to atone for their sins. Hallelujah. They had to bring spotless lambs. They had to bring turtle doves. They had to bring uh, oxen. They had to bring... Uh, a blood sacrifice to the priest, hallelujah, and that was for their, their atonement uh, of their sins. But praise the name of Jesus, today we know that Jesus Christ took our sins on Calvary. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if, if uh, you know this course or not, but if you do, just... Sing it along with me, and and uh, I just uh, two days ago, uh, as I woke up uh, early that morning, uh, I saw I had a vision, and the vision was an altar, and on the top of the altar was a lamb that was slain, and I knew that 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 was uh, a picture of Jesus Christ, Hallelujah, because Calvary, the cross, was. Uh, that that altar and Jesus Christ shed his blood and without the shedding of blood there's no remission of sin I will praise the name of Jesus behold the lamb behold the lamb slain from the foundation of the world 
crucified. Oh, holy sacrifice, behold the Lamb of God, behold the Lamb. You know, let's look upon him today. Let's look upon what he did for us. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to look upon the Lamb of God that's worthy of all of our praise. Oh, he gets all the glory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. He is the perfect sacrifice. And he was the perfect sacrifice. Praise the name of Jesus. And I want to go to some of those scriptures in just a few moments. But let's go to 1 Peter 1 before we go over into those scriptures. Um, 1 Peter 1, verses 18 and 19. For as much as we know that we were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by traditions from your fathers. Hallelujah. Because, see, his blood was not corrupt. In verse 19, but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ as of the Lamb, without blemish, without spot. Hallelujah. Verse 20, who barely was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. Hallelujah. Verse 21, who by him who do believe in God, that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, that your father, that your faith and hope might be in God. Hallelujah. And the next verse it says, seeing that you purify your your soul in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unframed love of the brethren. See that you love one another with a pure heart fervently. Hallelujah. And when we're loving on one another, praise the name of Jesus, when we're ministering the word to one another, when we're praying for one another, hallelujah, what are we doing? We're applying the blood. We're applying the blood when we pray. We're applying the blood uh, when we minister the word because Jesus is the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. And his blood is precious blood. For his blood was not just blood of another spotless lamb. But his blood, it was precious blood that saved us sins of man. His blood that heals my body and it sets my spirit free. I'm so glad his precious blood still flows from Calvary. Oh, apply the blood, Lord. Hallelujah. Everyone that's watching this video, oh, let the blood of Jesus cover you today. Oh, let it flow over you today. Let it give you life today uh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I now want to go to the essence of this message, and that is sacrifice. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Let's go uh, to Ephesians. <coughs> Ephesians 5, 2. Oh, glory, 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 hallelujah. Oh, the Lord would say unto you today, Oh, receive my blood, receive my life, receive it into you. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, apply the blood today. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 2. Praise the name of Jesus. As you well know, I have a song within me. I have a song that bubbles up and comes out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Some of you that have songs in your heart and in your spirit 
You need to let them come forth in the name of Jesus. Uh, that's a word for you today uh, in Jesus' name. I release those songs. I release the new songs uh, to sing unto the Lord in Jesus' name. Ephesians 5, 2 says, And walk in love as Christ also has loved us and has given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. How many of you have ever smelt the Lord? It's sweeter than any rose. Hallelujah. And I've got some beautiful roses right here. But the, the smell of the Lord is so wonderful and so beautiful that it cannot can be compared uh, to anything that else that you've ever uh, smelled. Hallelujah. And so here it's talking about Jesus offering himself a sacrifice. Praise the name of Jesus. Let's go to 1 Peter. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5, it says, You also, as lively stones, are built up into a spiritual house, a holy priesthood. Now listen to that. Hallelujah. How many of you know that we are a king and a priest? unto our God. Therefore, we can bring sacrifices to him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. To offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for the word. Let's go down to verse 9. But you are a chosen generation. How many of you know that you're chosen? You're chosen by God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before the foundations of the world, God knew you. And he said, you know, this is who you are. This is who you are, Ray. This is who you are, Rebecca. This is who you are, Janie. This is who you are, Judy. Uh, this is who you are. Because I've chosen you. A holy priesthood and a holy nation. A peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's where we are to stay, people, because gross darkness is coming upon the earth. Hallelujah. And we're not to be part of that darkness. We're not to be part of what's going on in the world right now, but we are to be part of what's going on in the kingdom of God. That is your place. That is your position. And hallelujah, we are seated next to him in heavenly places by Christ Jesus, by the Lamb of God, by the perfect sacrifice. That's why we're there. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, in Hebrews 11, 4, we'll not turn there, but it says that Abel uh, brought a better sacrifice than Cain did. Cain did. Cain brought first fruits, hallelujah, but Abel brought a blood sacrifice. You know, I asked the Lord, you know, why, why do you love blood? Hallelujah. Why do you love blood? And in Leviticus, Leviticus 15, it says that life is in the blood. Praise the name of Jesus. There's life in the blood of Jesus Christ. There was life in the Lamb of God. Oh, can you say amen? Hallelujah. I pray that you're seeing this through spiritual eyes today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We're to be a bloody people. And I'm not talking about protest. I'm talking about re remembering uh, the blood of Jesus. And I'll get there in a moment. Hallelujah. To remembering the blood of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord forever. In Hebrews 13, let's go there. Lord, you're so good to us. The word is so good, isn't it? Oh, eat it up. The Lord says, eat up the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those that are hungry and thirsty, uh, the Lord says, for his righteousness, you shall be filled. Praise the name of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. In Hebrews 13, I'm starting in, in verse 15. By him, therefore, let us offer 
the sacrifice of praise to God continually, which is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Hallelujah. But to do good and to communicate, forget not, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're to bring those sacrifices of praise uh, unto, unto our Lord. Hallelujah. We're to say, Lord, you are worthy. Jesus, you're worthy. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. What are they crying out in heaven? Hallelujah. If you read over in Revelation, uh, starting in chapter 5, uh, they say, worthy. You're worthy. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then in Romans 12, of course, uh, we can go there. A uh, very familiar passage of Scripture uh, where we present our bodies a living sacrifice. Verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body are your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God? <coughs> Excuse me. Which is your reasonable service. And in some other translations, that verse reads, this is your reasonable act of worship. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and be not conformed to this world. Do you want to give glory to the Lamb? Do you want to behold the Lamb today? <clears throat> that was slain for you and for me and for all the whole world. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. I believe that Jesus Christ is fulfilled the perfect will of God by being his lamb sacrificed for the sins of all mankind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we bring sacrifices of praise into your house today. Into, into this house. Into your house. Bring sacrifices of praise unto him. Hallelujah. And now I want to talk about, about communion uh, for just a few moments. Hallelujah. Every time, this is what the Holy Spirit spoke to me. Every time we partake of communion, we behold the Lamb. And Brother Fred and I, we take communion every single day. This is not a ceremony. This is not a ritual. But it's life to us. It's life to us. Because every day we want to behold the Lamb of God. Let's turn over to 1 Corinthians 11. Sometimes we use the, the Gospels and sometimes we use uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Hallelujah. You know, the Corinthian church, if you look uh, about the, you know, the history of the Corinthian church, they were very carnal. And the Apostle Paul, as he was writing to uh, the church at Corinth, uh, in in 1 Corinthians and in 2 Corinthians, he was encouraging them uh, with the Word of God, by the Spirit of God, to come into the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, it, it talks about uh, the, uh, the communion uh, and beholding of the Lamb of God and remembering what the Lamb of God uh, did for us. And I know that this is something that as we do this every single day, that it, it brings to our remembrance uh, his blood, uh, the thorns that went upon his head, the, pe the, pe 
piercing of his side, the stripes upon his back uh, that's for our healing today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That headache, uh, two people have a headache that's listening right now in the name of Jesus. That headache has to go in Jesus' name. I curse the root of that headache and I tell it to leave you in Jesus' name. Receive your healing. Receive it right now. Hallelujah. And so as we take uh, partake of communion, uh, in verse 16 it says, This cup of blessing which we bless, is not this the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we being many are one bread, and one body, and we are all partakers of this one bread. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then I love the scripture in John uh, chapter 6. Hallelujah. How many of you know that when you partake of communion and you remember the bread of Jesus Christ, his body, and you remember the blood that was shed for you, hallelujah, then that brings you into uh, that communion or fellowship with the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. And this says in John chapter 6, praise the name of Jesus, that, that it's flesh of his flesh. Hallelujah. Help me out, Brother Fred. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. 656? Yes. Hallelujah. Let's go to uh, 656. Uh, 56. Well, no, let's go back up to 53, and then I'll get down to 56. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say, except you eat the flesh of the Son of God, the Son of Man, and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Hallelujah. Woo, glory, are you listening to me today? Do you want more life? Do you want more abundant life that Jesus died to give you? Hallelujah, he rose again, and, and you have the victory today in the name of Jesus. Whosoever eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwells in me, and I in him. How many of you want to be one with the Lord? Hallelujah. I want to be one with the Lord today. Then you need to partake. Of his, of his body, you need to eat of his flesh and drink of his blood. And that's what communion is all about. It's not a ritual. It's not a ceremony. It's life. Hallelujah. It's life in my body. When that, when that uh, blood goes into my body, it goes into my bloodstream. I come against every blood disorder right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I also come against any activity in the brain that is not of the Lord. In Jesus' name, any activity in the brain that causes strokes, that causes aneurysms, I come against that activity right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you dry up by the root and you leave that body in Jesus' name. It's one man and one woman that's watching in the name of Jesus. I come against any type of stroke. I come against any type of aneurysm in the name of Jesus. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. That was slain from the foundation of the world. For sinners crucified. Oh, holy sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going to sacrifice to him. We're going to sacrifice our bodies to him. This body belongs to you, Lord. Hallelujah. I yield my, my spirit, soul, mind, and body to you today. In Jesus' name. Can you say that? Can you say that? And if you've never asked Jesus to come into your heart, there's a young person that's watching me right now. This is your day to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. All you have to do is say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. I accept you as Savior and Lord this day in the name of Jesus. 
all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Praise the name of Jesus. If you need more power today, receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Ask him for it and receive it in, in the, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. I don't know what I would do without the Holy Spirit and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. It's power. It empowers you. It empowers you to go day by day through this journey in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your precious blood. We thank you that we can that we can commune with you every single day, Lord. That we don't have to wait till a church service. We don't have to wait till we get with a group of people. We don't have to wait till the first of the month. Lord, we can commune with you every single day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And the Lord is bringing fresh revelation uh, to those of you that will receive it right now. Fresh revelation of the word. Praise the name of Jesus. You're going to read that scripture that you've read over and over and over again. And all of a sudden, it's going to jump off the page. And the Holy Spirit is going to speak to you about that scripture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fresh revelation. Remember, you stand on foundation. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. And you, and you move in revelation. You're going to move forward when the Lord begins to reveal himself to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this word. I thank you, Lord, for everyone that's receiving this word right now in the name of Jesus. Stomachs are being healed right now. Intestines are being healed right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I see it. I see pancreases uh, being healed right now in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. I see lungs being healed right now. Uh, those that, that you've quit smoking, uh, but there's a buildup of that tar uh, in your lungs, and the Lord is getting rid of that. Hallelujah. Uh, he's already in there uh, just removing uh, so that you will be able to breathe better. Uh, you'll have more strength in your body. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Also, there's some that, that you had um, a pneumonia uh, when you were younger, and it, it damaged uh, one of your lungs. And the Lord says that, that that's being uh, repaired and restored uh, right now in the name of Jesus. Restoration is going on in your body. Hallelujah. 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 Behold the Lamb. Let's look at the Lamb today. Let's behold His goodness. Let's behold what He did for us. Let's look at the, the things that, have, have, that He did for us. Hallelujah. And I ask that, that you begin to pray. Uh, those that are prayer warriors that are watching, begin to pray uh, for individuals uh, to come to the Lord. Uh, that they will begin to see and behold of uh, the Lamb of God. Thank you so much for viewing. God bless each and every one of you.